high-end watches and jewelry. A closer look at some of the world's most expensive and luxurious watches and jewelry. The most desirable and coveted items of technology are luxury watches, which are also among the most admired. The price tags can fly into the millions of dollars because they combine the finest aspects of workmanship, history, and design. We have compiled a list of record-breaking watches, which includes anything from a bright diamond wristwatch. That is valued at $55 million to a timepiece that was commissioned for the French monarch Marie Antoinette in the 1700s. Continue watching to get an up-close look at some of the world's most costly timepieces and jewelry. Number 10. Brigitte No. 160 $30 million. It is said that one of Marie Antoinette's lovers commissioned the original version of this painting to be created specifically for her. Abraham Louis Brigitte started working on the watch in 1782. But Marie Antoinette was put to death in 1827 by Brigitte's son before it was finished. It featured every known complication available at the time, such as a thermometer, chime, and perpetual calendar, among other things. The watch was stolen in 1983 from the El Dada Mayer Museum in Jerusalem, where it had been on exhibit since the early 1980s. The artwork was finally located and brought back, where it has remained ever since, in the Mayer Museum's collection. Number 9. Graf Diamonds The Fascination, $40 million. Graf Diamonds, which is well known for producing opulent things made with diamonds, is the company that designed the Fascination watch. This watch features 152.96 carats of diamonds, and the main diamond is a 38.14 carat D flawless pear shaped diamond. The diamond in the middle of the ring can be removed and worn on its own as a separate ring. Now, Graf Diamonds has the solution to your problem, a watch with a component that can be removed and transformed into a ring. The timepiece, which has been given the name The Fascination, is made up of 152.96 carats of white diamonds, and features a center fancy cut exceptionally rare stone that is a 38.13 carat D flawless pear shaped diamond that was cut and polished by Graf at their workshops. This pear-shaped beauty can be worn as a watch dial in a highly architectural diamond bracelet, or it can be removed from the bracelet and worn as a ring. Either way, it is a work of art. Number 8. Graf Diamonds Hallucination, $55 million. The Graf Diamonds Hallucination watch is currently at the top of the list of the most expensive timepieces in the world. This one-of-a-kind timepiece, which was presented at the Watch and Jewelry Fair in Basel, Switzerland, is built out of 110 carats of diamonds. This breathtaking clock is crafted using a variety of cut and colored diamonds, including emerald, heart, pear, marquise, and round diamonds, as well as fancy pink, yellow, green, and blue diamonds. The fancy hues include pink, yellow, green, and blue. Number 7. Rothers Babium and Amp, Mercier. In the year 1830, Louis Victor and Celestin Baume established the company that would later become known as Frères Baume. In 1918, Paul Mercier joined the company to become what is now known as Baume and Amp, Mercier. Baume and Amp, Mercier has been a member of the Richemont Group since 1988, and in that time it has provided customers with tastefully designed Swiss made timepieces at solid values in comparison to many of its competitors. These timepieces feature complications ranging from day dates to chronographs to a perpetual calendar, and they are all outfitted with Swiss-made calibers and modules that are sourced from other Swiss manufacturers. Baume and Amp, Mercier has recently begun producing its in-house calibers, including the so-called Baumatic movement that it has installed inside several models within its sporty elegant Clifton collections. Additionally, Baume and Amp, Mercier has even more recently revived its Riviera model from 1973, which is the brand's response to the immensely popular trend of integrated bracelet sports watches. Number 6. The Heart of the Ocean Diamond, which was valued at $3.5 million. Loria at the 1998 Academy Awards, Stuart Dunn a piece of jewelry that was at the time one of the most costly pieces ever offered for sale. The Harry Winston Sapphire in question is said to be worth approximately $20 million. The piece of jewelry that was found on the Titanic has been meticulously replicated here. The Oscars have never seen anything more expensive than this piece of jewelry before. 
auction sales have realized a total of $3.5 million from the selling of reproductions of it. Number 5. The Emerald and Diamond Tiara, which is priced at $12.76 million. This tiara was given to Catherine, the German Prince Guido Henkel von Donnersmark's second wife, as a present in the year 1900. The gift was authorized by the German prince. There were also whispers that Empress Josephine, who was married to Napoleon III of France, formerly owned this tiara. Regardless of who owned it in the past, it has a row of 11 pear-shaped emeralds that have been polished and the total weight of these stones is approximately 500 carats. In addition, the winning bid of $12.76 million came from an anonymous source. Number 4. Oppenheimer Blue, 57.5 million. This blue Oppenheimer diamond was given its name by Sir Philip Oppenheimer after the first owner of the stone passed away. This emerald cut stone is 14.62 carats, and it set a record sale price for an emerald cut stone of that value when it was sold at Christie's auction in May 2016. It brought in $57.5 million, which was at the time the highest price ever paid for an emerald cut stone of that value. The diamond was given its current name in honor of its former owner, Philip Oppenheimer. It has an emerald cut, which is a rectangular shape. It was sold at Christie's in Geneva in May 2016 for a price of 50.6 million US dollars, making it the largest fancy vivid blue diamond ever sold at auction, as classed by the Gemological Institute of America. The diamond is known as Oppenheimer Blue. The diamond ultimately went to one of two bidders who placed their bids over the phone. Nevertheless, the name of the winner is unknown to the general public. The sales show that despite the volatile financial markets and slower art market, rare diamonds have retained their shine among the rich. The Sotheby's sale included the $31.6 million sale of the unique pink, a 15.4 carat fancy vivid pink stone. Number 3. The Wittelsbach Graf Diamond, which is estimated to be worth $80 million. It has been rumored that King Philip IV of Spain first owned this 35.56 carat diamond, and that it was given to his daughter Margarita Teresa as part of her dowry when she became engaged to Emperor Leopold I of Austria in 1664. After some time has passed, the well-known jeweler Lawrence Graf gets a wonderful deal. When he buys the Wittelbach diamond for $22 million and then has it recut to 31.06 carats. In 2011, Lawrence Graf resold the diamond for an astounding price of $80 million to an associate of the royal family of Qatar. The buyer was from Qatar. Number 2. A peacock brooch designed and crafted by Graf Diamonds and valued at $100 million. The diamond peacock brooch was presented by Graf Diamonds in 2013 during the Tefaf Luxury Arts and Antique Fair, which was held in the Netherlands. It was a magnificent brooch with 1305 gemstones, including diamonds in white, pink, yellow, orange, and green colors. The magnificent blue diamond that sits at the center weighs 20.02 carats, while its height is just around 10 centimeters, and costs $100 million. Number 1. The Hope Diamond, $250 million. In addition to its weight of 45.52 carats, the Hope Diamond is famous for the stunning blue color it displays. The Kohler Mines in Guntur, India, were the source of this diamond, and they began producing it in the 17th century. The most valuable in, quite perhaps, the most well-known jewel in the entire world. Impurities caused by minute amounts of boron atoms are thought by specialists to be the source of the stone's distinctively blue hue. Winston purchased this jewel to give it to the Smithsonian Institution, which is where it has been on display ever since Winston donated. It is estimated that its current value is between $200 million and $250 million at this time. This is the end of this video. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable respos in our comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel.